Hi. My name is Brian. Welcome to the cave. It's Logic Pro Hacks. Today, or tonight, we are doing something very trancy. Trancy, trance, trance, trance. <laughs> and today we're going to do something pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to make the sign sound from PPK's Resurrection Trance Song, the famous trance song. It sounds like this. Yeah, you know, that song. <laughs> well, it's very easy to do. Let's get yourself alchemy, because we're going to alchemist it up. If I said that right, it's a word. It is. Alchemistry. There you go. And sound. Alchemistry and sound. That's what we're doing. So, the first one. The main lead sound is this one right here. Go ahead and just solo it out. Let's play it for you just real quick. <laughs> I love it. It's a great sound. And what makes these sounds so great? Why is it just an amazing sound sound? Because it's simple. It is most simplest form of all synth sounds. As a sound. Alchemy does a really great job at doing it. Let's go over here. And how you do this is you just, what you want to do is you just want to go in here, file, and hit that clear. Go right here and hit clear. And it'll, it'll reset everything and it'll give you, it'll kind of, it'll give you like the default saw sound. So what you want to do is you want to go in here on your A source. Everything else will be blanked out. Just go over here on your A source, load VA. And go in here to sign. You can do sign ARP, which sounds really good. Or you can do, there's another one here that sounds really good too. And it's sign root. Root one. There it is. Either those two will work. I, I like the ARP because it's a little bit duller sounding of a sign. And it seems like it works better at the higher pitches. So the sign ARP works. The next thing you want to do is you take off the filter. Make sure that's not on. Your attack decay and sustain you know right now I got I just kinda just maybe gave it just a little bit a tiny of attack tiny bit of attack and the decay I gave it a real long decay hold a little bit of a hold and a little tiny bit of release and then I, I put a, a an effect on here I put the acoustic reverb just pick the default one and I just took my mix level down right here the, I, I'm just very amazed at the sound of the reverbs that they have, especially in Alchemy. It's just really nice reverbs. Oh, one more thing. Make sure that, you know, I set it up to 12 semitones, uh, a little bit higher than normal. It just depends on how you have your MIDI file scaled up to, up an octave. And if we get out of that, look at the MIDI. Here's the MIDI. Let's go ahead and kind of, you can see how so it starts on a D and kind of does this. Da, da, da. If I could whistle. Something like that. So if we play it. Awesome. And that's just coming from Alchemy. Now, the other part, the, the lower register part of this sound that you get from this song is same thing so what I did is I just took the track and I duplicated the track so it's just this button right here it'll just duplicate the track and then it just creates another instance of alchemy the same one again and if we open that one up what I have here just go to global is is I actually loaded I changed the arp sign arp sound to you can change it over in here to the sine root because I felt like it sounded better 
at the lower end because this is the lower notes. And pretty much everything is the same except for the attack, release, and decay. The ADSR is, you know, no attack. The whole, no hold, maybe a little bit of. It's pretty much the default ADSR that you get from Alchemy. And then, you know, just a little bit of release, sustain full on. And the filter, I did engage the filter. Let's go over here, global. Yeah, so up on global, I'm just using just the first default filter. And I have the cutoff set just a little bit and a little bit of drive. And this one will sound like this. Go ahead and just play it. that's it the two simple sign sounds but you would think that this would be kind of easy to do and in a way yes it's easy but you got to have the right tools to do it the problem that you run into a lot of times is like you know you try to do it like some other sense and it just I just couldn't get it to replicate just right but the alchemy seems like it just had the perfect sign, uh, especially the complex sign sounds that you get in Alchemy. It just is really phenomenal to really get that purity that I was looking for to match the uh, the PPK's original uh, simple sign sound that you get from their lead. And it just and and that's the thing when you do a mix, a lot of times you know you want to have like certain sounds just break it out and just this simple sound and you put a little reverb behind it and it just sounds really amazing so i'm just going to leave it at that you know just a little tip for you guys tonight tell me how how you like it and if you want me to do any more of these uh, little cool synth tips uh, go ahead and and we will end out with me just playing these two and i'll kind of mix it in with the other one so i'll kind of go like this mm -hmm.